love climbing because of all the work that goes into it. And when you're working on something really hard and you're excited about it, you can just feel that electricity in the air. And it's so exciting. It's so incredible. I love the nature. All the animals, the plants, the dirt, the rock, everything that surrounds you. It's beautiful. My name is Sailor Schneider, and I'm a rock climber. The nose has always kind of been a climb that I've wanted to do. It's always been in the back of my mind, but I wasn't quite sure if I could actually do it. El Cap is 3,000 feet tall and made of granite. It's taller than the tallest building on Earth. The nose was the first route of El Cap and arguably the most famous route in the world. Preparing for El Cap was really big. I needed to prepare myself mentally, trying to prepare myself for how big it was. I also really needed to work on getting stronger. I needed to be much stronger to do El Cap. There's a lot of family history in El Cap for me. My parents were both big climbers, and then a week after they met, they went and climbed El Cap together. And that's really inspired me to go climb El Cap too. We thought that I might be the youngest girl to climb it, but we really didn't know, and that really wasn't why I climbed El Cap. I just went up to go and climb something, and I knew that I probably wouldn't get to the top, but I just wanted to try. <laughs> I watched her and we're like, wow, she's, she really knows what she's doing. Super safe, was just doing everything right. Like there was no question about it. She was teaching people up on El Cap how to do things. Like she knew more than some of the other people that were up there. Climbing El Cap with my dad, it really improved our relationship. Um, and having him there, not only at the base of El Cap, but at the base of every climb, he encourages me. Good, you got it. Watch me close. Watching you. There you go, nice. Lower. Sweet. That was fun. Hey, good job. I can't remember a time when I hadn't climbed. It, it's just always been a part of me. I started climbing when I would go along the bottom holds of a climbing wall and just use them in a walk when I was about six months old. And then when I was about one and a half, I started learning how to walk. And my parents put me in a full body harness and just, I started climbing off the wall. Day three was her first time touching a boulder. <laughs> day, yeah, day three, like, she was just a blob, basically. <laughs> she always really loved it. She never was afraid. She always wanted to try. And so we encouraged that. Make it fun. So you want to go again next weekend? <laughs> My first multi-pitch was when I was about six. It was really fun. Um, and then I did my first desert tower when I was seven. When I was nine, I led 5'9 for the first time. That was really big for me. It's just really amazing how many goals you can set and how many you get to and how many you don't even know you set. <laughs> Falling is fun for me in certain situations, when it's steep or overhanging, but when it's not, I sometimes can get really freaked out. Things are really, really quiet when I'm climbing. Just very in the moment and focused. I think just being in the moment, it's not thinking about how to get to the top. It's not thinking about how to get that next move. It's thinking about what to do now, as you're in this moment. You're not tomorrow or yesterday. You're today. That last bolt today, or? 
When I got to the top of El Cap, I was really happy. But I was also kind of sad, because you only get to do something your first time once. So there's a first time for everything, but there's only one first time for everything. Um, and you really have to embrace that first time. So that's your first happy cry? Yeah. yeah. I just can't believe I just did that. We thought, well, maybe she could be the youngest girl to have ever climbed it. So I was kind of blown away to find out that she was the youngest person known to have ever climbed it. With a little bit of encouragement and practice, kids can really do a lot. Mm -hmm. And what we can do as parents is foster those dreams and encourage it. Say, hey, how can we learn how to do this together? I hope to inspire not just young people, but all people to just get outside. You know, it, you don't have to go climb El Cap. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, go for a walk around your block. I could see myself climbing professionally, but I really don't know what I want to do in the long run. But for the most part, I'm just trying to keep climbing. <laughs>